bitch. Love this top. So cute. If you want to hear more about this top and the dress that I made using McCall's pattern 8035, stick around. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Shatoka and this channel is all about sewing, fashion, and home decor. So today is actually a sewing video. I wanted to do a quick pattern review on this pattern that I just finished. This is actually a top that I made out of a dress pattern. Um, this is McCall's 8035. I ended up doing the dress first. The dress was actually a part of my make nine items. So I want to go ahead and knock that out because I kind of been falling behind on the things that I should be making for my make nine. So after I made the dress, I was like, you know what? I, I like this. I think this will be a cute shirt. So I decided to make a shirt with a few alterations. So I did the dress first. I ended up making the dress out of a gauze fabric that I had in my stash for quite a while, maybe about two years. And I really wanted to make it out of that fabric. The only thing is I did not have enough to do the peplum on view A, which is the dress that I ended up making. So the dress is view A, but without the ruffle. So really really simple straightforward pattern there's only about 20 steps the only thing that you need is elastic and interfacing for the neckline um, I also did add bias binding for this version because it was not a sleeveless version in this pattern so I went ahead and just finished my um, armhole with bias binding but if you're gonna do it according to the pattern envelope you won't need any bias binding but yeah the first one came together pretty quickly however with the gauze fabric I kind of underestimated how much it stretches out so I feel like the sleeves on view A actually looks a little bit different they look a little bit more ruffly um, than the pattern envelope so I wanted to still go through with that view just so you guys can see how it looks some people might actually like that look better instead of a more like tailored look so yeah i ended up doing the dress first i did not alter the length of it sometimes i end up having to add a few extra inches but with view a it's actually it's a mini on me i am tall however um i don't think it's too short so i did not add a belt or anything there is a belt in this pattern i believe but it's a different view so i just have the one inch elastic i also subtracted two inches off of the elastic just when i was sewing it i felt like it was going to be a little bit loose i did cut the size large um so yeah i just took the elastic guy cut my elastic out out of the one inch and then i wrapped it around me and then i felt like it was going to be a little bit loose so i just subtracted those two inches other than that, those are the only other alterations that I made. I think I will make it again. However, I like the shirt much better. So I ended up making this shirt out of the same pattern pieces for view A. I just omitted the sleeve and then I actually added a thinner elastic, like a 3 4 inch elastic here. Um, the only thing I think I would do differently on this one is make the peplum a little bit longer. Again, this is actually supposed to be for the dress. So I feel like they didn't want to have it too long because there's like a skirt portion that's added to that dress. So when I make it again, because I'm definitely making it again, like I can see a few more of these for the fall. I'm going to make it with, um, I believe that's view C. I'll pop up the view sleeve that I'm going to do. I'm going to do it with that sleeve and I'm going to add probably three to four inches so that it can be like a true uh, blouse but I don't mind like the length of it right now and I didn't have that much of this fabric this fabric is actually like over five years old I believe I got this out of town I'm not even sure where but I don't feel like I got it locally here in Chicago so yeah I just was like you know what I'm gonna pull out that pink I kind of been I was thinking about making a skirt from it but then I was like you know what this would be such a cute top for the summer before we go into fall so yeah i really love how it turned out again like i said i'm gonna be making a few more because i really love how it came out um the size large fit me really well i think i'll just keep doing that um alteration as far as elastic just taking a couple of inches off um so that it can cinch in my waist a little bit more but i don't think there's any gaping that i need to adjust or anything the large is 
pretty good to me. So yeah, overall, I think that it doesn't look bad in the gauze fabric, but I feel like it looks better with like a stable um, fabric. It's recommended that you use, um, let me grab the pattern envelope, like Crepe Shally Georgettes, um, Interlocks. So I mean, I'm sure you could probably use a knit as well, but I will recommend like a stable knit so you can have like uh, the structure the way this top is. So yeah, I really, really like this pattern. If you don't already have it, definitely pick it up on the next McCall sale because it's a good one. Um, this is a 2020 pattern, so I'm, I'm sure you guys will still be able to find it. Um, I've been noticing that they are kind of phasing out some of those older patterns, but 2020, you guys should still be able to find this one in the drawers and make it up. It was really, really quick. If you guys have any questions about the construction or anything else about the pattern, leave them in the comment section. I'll, should, um, I'll be sure to answer them for you. And there's also some tutorials on this pattern on YouTube. So go ahead and put the search on YouTube and find the tutorials, even uh, someone who made the shirt as well. Um, so yeah, go ahead and get this one in your stash because it is a good one. So until next time, bye. Thank you.